Did you walk out with that other item and forget to pay for it? Oh, I get it. A senior moment. <clears throat> I still have my wits about me. Okay, so what do you like about a Yankees and Mets? Nothing. Sports. Huh? Oh, what do you like? Uh, comic books. What about that chicken? What about that chicken? I walked in with this chicken. Okay, do you have a receipt? No, I don't have the receipt. I bought this chicken a while back. It's been sitting in my freezer. I'm supposed to believe that? Look, it's still got the, it's got a label from a competing store. Well, how do I know you didn't put that label on? It's still frozen. Yeah, well, my, my freezer's like Antarctica. Two people, the two people that co-created Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Uh, Stanley Oh, very good. How do you know that? 1962. Huh, okay. Just work on your jokes, or next time I'm going to call security. Jesus, Murphy's Law. I don't know what that is, but my mom sometimes calls me Murphy Brown. That's her favorite TV character growing up. <laughs> well, uh... Uh, Jessica. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, your mother made a good call. Oh, I guess that's something we can agree on. Not enough Jessicas, too many Jennifers, and half of them want to be J-Lo's. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, uh, I'm afraid that's something else you're going to have to put in your ledger as something we disagree on. Uh, what I meant was your mother nailed it when she decided to call you a television character that gives everybody a hard time. You walk into my supermarket with a frozen chicken from a competing store just to buy two boxes of rice a So I got Michael Corleone over here. No, I didn't set you up with Johnny O. And you know what? I would have bought more boxes if you didn't have a two-box limit. If I'd let more people like you in my store, I'll never get a promotion. Mom? Yes, honey? You think I give people a hard time? Me up. That's all right. I'm already meeting you at a lot. Oh, yeah. Why am I not surprised, old man? Hey, thanks for having me over. Is that rice a roni? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And look at, hey, listen, I haven't had rice a roni in 25 years, huh? I got two boxes for 99 cents each on sale, huh? It's only two per customer. Well, we'll cook up this rice, peel off, and feed the whole posse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember that? Sauteed and simmer, the flavor can't be beat. Ta ta ta, rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. <laughs> hey, look at hey. this. Huh? Where are you learning that? Yeah. Oh, my dad told me that song. Oh, yeah? Hey, listen, here's 10 bucks. 
I tell you, Dad, uh, the ice cream's on me today, huh? Hey, why don't we take that in my place and cook it up? Well, I haven't had this stuff in ages. This stuff's a crack. I'm addicted to this stuff. I might not even share it with you, you know? I think it's my huh. You're an engrave. Yeah, well, would you let the kid uh, finish kicking your butt? My wife will be home soon. And then a friend. I gotta get changed. And on top of that, my addiction. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Listen, give the kid 10 bucks. 10 bucks? I already gave him 10 bucks. And then you gave him 10 bucks. Yeah, whatever that was, you gotta give the kid a forfeit fee. All right, all right. Here you go, Pharaoh. Now I've got enough to buy a whole ice cream cake. Well, I get some more if I show some more discussion. <laughs> get out of here. Come on. You see this? Hey, listen. Hey, Troy. Yeah? Remember what you told me. What'd your dad say you had done? Ice cream tastes better outside the metaverse. Ding ding! Smart kid. <laughs> Rich too. Hey, listen. So I took the uh, the chicken out of the freezer, all right, to to bring over. Chicken. How much friends are vegetarian? I'm sort of going along with this because uh, you know, I'm thinking maybe this woman will, you know, help uh, generate some business from my wife's new health spot. We'll go to the Middle East and place around the block, okay? Uh, hold on a sec. All right. We knew Miss Vegetarian was coming. I triple checked on that. I, I thought she was going to get vegetarian food to a Middle Eastern restaurant to bring back for herself. Yeah, well, I didn't know what lengths my wife was going to go to to try to please her. She's trying to make me a vegetarian, but the deal is I won't have any meat in the house. Look, a chicken ain't meat. It's poultry. Oh, um, what's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah. I can't put this chicken back in the freezer. Why not? I don't know, it's like a health and safety thing. You gotta put the thing in the refrigerator, eat the whole thing the next day. You can't do that? Listen, I got things to do. Okay. And I only got one mouth to feed myself. Oh, you know what? It's not staying here. Give it to your neighbors. Well, there's some soup kitchen. Oh, geez, you thanks a lot, Max. You thanks a lot. Like I can just surrender that part of my budget. Like I can just give food away. Like I can splurge on chicken any time. All right, look. And maybe the soup kitchen's a good idea, all right? But they're not going to take food that's been commuting from the Northeast Bronx to the inner depths of Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. I don't get it. Beats me. I mean, whose idea was it uh, to to go to the the vegetarian restaurant? Was it was it your wife's idea or the vegetarian's idea? I mean, is your wife trying to undermine me again? What? Yeah, listen, man, why don't I just leave? I know your wife has a, a problem with our so-called bromance. Oh, I hate that fucking word. Hey, hey, Richie, I'm sorry I can't do this because my wife wants me to do X. Oh, I'm sorry. Now she wants me to do Y. Like she's making stuff up as she goes along. Well, you know, what gives? She thinks you talk past her or above her. Above her? Well, maybe it's because I'm taller than her. Ha! <laughs> eh, you might want to double check that, pal. All right, wise guy. Right? Look. My wife doesn't want you around. She says you can't connect with people. She's feeling like this whole place is becoming your own personal sanitarium, where you just stay put. The trouble with you is, you need to start connecting with the peeps in your life. Peeps? Yeah. How old are you? I'll stop. Uh, look, what have I ever done to her? She purposely disagrees with me. And who's got time to connect with people anyway? I'm trying to move up at work. In fact, I was supposed to meet some people at work tonight, but I bailed. I'd rather they know me as a serious guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I was asking myself, what's he doing here? I thought you were supposed to be somewhere else. Yeah, but I came here instead. I mean, I didn't want to do anything foolish. I mean, I don't want to be around people getting drunk and busting my chops. Are they expecting you to? I don't know, maybe. But it's strange to be at a party with people who are going to be making a decision about my review. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect case in point. Let's talk examples. Are you hoping for a promotion? Well, what do you think? Are you hanging out with the good old boys club to secure your raise? Well, they're not all good old boys unless you're talking about the people with the purse strings. Your parents helped get you through Harvard. I mean, you got the big degree. You should be writing your own ticket by now. Didn't you want to be part of that exclusive elite club? Hey, I'd pick the front stoop over the ivory tower any day. Now, what about you? You were, uh, your parents helped you get to Columbia. 
That's nothing to sneeze at. I don't see you sitting in an armchair at the Algonquin or smoking a pipe with an alligator on your shirt. All right, fine. I guess that's the curse of hoping the merit speaks for itself. Doesn't mean I don't work the room, though. What do you mean? Uh, actually, you know, there's a regular guy at work who said that you have to be more of an asshole buddy to get ahead. I don't even know what that means. Is he saying I need to be more like this kind of buddy? What? No, no, no. That's not what the gay... Uh, I mean, the guy means. He's trying to say he's being too formal. Well, you got to be more formal and professional in order to get ahead. Yeah, but not when everybody except you is on the same page about being an asshole, buddy. What are you talking about? And you know why you don't feel so connected to people? So I have an answer to a question whose premise I completely disagree with. I don't understand why because you would say... Because you're too formal, even with your own friends. You know, people like me, you know, for more than 10, 15 years. You know, I think we've known each other for 23 years, actually. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Why? You about to formalize this into a polite conversation about when we first met. Look, regarding this whole chicken thing. You mean chicken and rice a thing? Chicken and rice a thing. I want you to say, Matt, fuck you. You're an asshole. I want some chicken and rice a right? Just say it. Just fucking say it. I'm not going to say that. Why not? Well, first of all, your family might hear me inside. There's nobody here. And second of all, you haven't really given me a reason to say it to you. That's the whole fucking point. What is? You don't need a reason. It's just about securing the friendship, strengthening it, being an asshole buddy. Wait, let me get this straight. So you're saying to me, and, and I'm just quoting you here, that if I say to you, quote, fuck you, you're an asshole, unquote, that that'll strengthen the friendship. That's right. And that'll make me more of an asshole, but now you're getting it. That's ridiculous. What? I might offend you, but I just told you to tell me to go fuck myself. Why would you do that? Now, you know what? Just forget it, okay? You can forget about ever getting a promotion, okay? Not now or ever. Hey, don't say that, all right? All right, fine. Then leave and take this fucking chicken and go loosen up and enjoy the party, all right? And, and relax when you come over here, okay? Because my wife doesn't want this place to be like your cocoon, your oasis to the world. She, she's ready to tell me to go live with you. Although I got to admit, you know, it might not be that bad an idea to get out in the real world once in a while and uh, try to find some friends with benefits, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? Friends of benefits? No, living with me. Living with you? Yeah. About to become more like you? Well, it's better than you becoming more like your wife. You know, I bet you she doesn't even like rice roni. I'm not leaving these boxes here. Yeah, sure, take it to the party. All right. Well, you know, they'll be easier to hide than the chicken that's being evicted from your home along with me. You know what? I'm just going to go back to my party. Just, just stop. Or, stop. Calm down, okay? Relax. Focus, okay? Give me... You're such a baby. Look, give me this. I'll take your chicken and I'll put it in the hide it in the freezer, okay? All right? Look through. This thing's rock solid. It's like a freaking glacier. But where's your freezer in Siberia? I uh, know, uh, the North Pole. Stop exaggerating. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Richie. Give me a little work, okay? Maybe you and I can eat it later when nobody's around. Now let's hurry up so you can go to this party. And yes, sometimes you have to tell your friends go fuck themselves to deepen the friendship. That's ridiculous. You sound like one of those politicians during Vietnam. Uh, we must destroy the village in order to save it. Now that's ridiculous. Hey, that was fucked up. Hey, that was fucked up. But this ain't that. This ain't that. No, this ain't that. All right, this ain't that. But then what is it? Take Jesus, for instance. What? Jesus? No, leave Jesus out of this. No, 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 wait, wait. Hold on. No, no, I'm telling you. What's Jesus got to do with this? I'm telling you, don't bring Jesus wait, into wait, 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 wait. this. Hear me out, hear me out, all right? All right, listen, okay. Now, if Jesus Christ came down to earth, okay, incognito, got an entry-level job, and was looking to get a promotion without revealing himself, 
even if he could prove to me that he could save the world if I would just give him a promotion, he'd still have to prove to me that he could be an asshole, but... Don't tell me. Yes. I would tell Jesus to tell me to go fuck myself. I mean, I, all right, I guess that's all right, but would you tell Jesus to go fuck himself as part of the process? Of course I would. So let me get this straight. You would risk going to hell by blasphemizing Jesus just for the sake of trying to make him an asshole, buddy. I won't go to hell. How do you know that? Jesus wouldn't send me. <laughs> Why not? It says who? Could you answer the question without resorting to circular reasoning? Because either way, I keep my promise based on my transparent stipulation that doesn't hurt anybody. Asshole, buddy, get the promotion. Serious, buddy, no promotion. But you're still tied it to a promotion. Jesus doesn't take bribes. It's not a bribe. It's my original intention. That's how we got to this whole hypothetical in the first place. Look, Jesus doesn't judge your morality. You keep score on your integrity. What's the difference? Not that I want to get into politics. But Jesus doesn't send rich people to hell for being greedy, okay? He sends them there for getting on their high horse about pulling themselves up by their own bootstraps and then opposing other people trying to do the same thing. Yeah, but look, well, I'm just trying to pick myself up by my own bootstraps and avoid people in situations that get in the way of that. Or they go demonize. I don't know, stuff like uh, socialism, right? While they take all the tax breaks, loopholes, and subsidies they could pocket, Hey, you know something? I don't know if Yogi Berra was a uh, cynic about these muckety mucks, but if he was, can you imagine what he would say to mock them? <laughs> you mean uh, with uh, his uh, classic lines, like it ain't over till it's over? Like like when he's being ironic without intending to be. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I got a whole book full of all this little Yogi. Yeah? Hey, check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Remember when, he, <laughs> remember when he was talking about that restaurant, he goes, Nobody goes there anymore because it gets too crowded. <laughs> hey, look at this. Hey, look at this. 90% of the game is half metal. <laughs> oh, whoa. Well, talk about half metal. I forgot to satisfy my crack addiction. You're ice rolling. So if uh, Yogi mocks the muckety mucks, does that mean like he's muckety mocking? Pretty good, Richie. I gave him that. Uh, but hold on. How would Yogi mock the muckety mucks? But he'd be like, um, uh, we're not greedy. We just want the whole piece of the whole pie. Or uh, uh, we're not robbing the public. We're just volunteering to take the whole thing. Or uh, we're not done robbing the public until we're done robbing the public. I don't know. A for effort, Richie. You're on first base. Me? I think he'd say something like, uh, the government can't fund welfare. I can afford the corporate giveaways. But then on top of all that, they tell you they reward you for hard work, but then that's not good enough. In other words, they want you to be an asshole, buddy. Yes. But even with that, even if they don't expect unconditional loyalty, even if they don't impose conditions like sex, there's still no guarantee. Me? That'd be my word. I'd keep my promise. The standard I'd put on me, I'd put on Jesus anybody else and it ain't like I'd be violating him. But all right, I guess Jesus can get away with being an asshole but because he, unlike me, doesn't have to worry about being violated by Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law? The guy ain't exactly dying of natural causes. What's Murphy's Law got to do with this? It's just that uh, your delivery is better than mine. I just get Murphy's Law. So in other words, I should tell myself to go fuck myself because I got a better delivery? No, that's not what I'm saying. Let me give you an example. Yeah, please do, because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, calm down, all right? You're going to let me talk? Yeah, go ahead. I can't wait to hear this. You got to get the last word in, right? You know, silence is golden. And so is a little bit of patience. All right. You and I could be meeting total strangers, right? And you could tell a total off-color joke. And you get away with it. People laugh. People are like, oh, that Matt, he's a funny guy. I could tell the same joke to the same set of strangers, and people look at me like, oh, that Richie guy, he's so uncouth. That's Murphy's Law. That's not Murphy's Law. That is Murphy's Law. Oh, no, geez. You know, sometimes I wonder how paranoid you can get. Look, you just need to get more comfortable telling the jokes. Oh, look at me. I'm Matt Morelli. 
I teach the way, the truth, and the lightness. Just follow my path to spontaneous humor, and thou shalt be healed. Oh, and deliver you. thy joke properly, and thou shalt be delivered unto heaven. Come on! Jeez, all this Jesus talk. Well, you started it. Hey, hey, hey. You know something? It's a great idea. You should practice telling that Jesus joke. No, 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 no. Come, on, come on, Hit me out, hit me out. You ask the question, and I'll ask why. And then you deliver the punchline. I wasn't suggesting telling that Jesus joke, ever. It's blasphemy. It's not even funny. Come on, I'm trying to make you an asshole, buddy. It's about time you get that promotion. It's a great riddle. Gives Jesus a little street cred, you know? Just ask me the fucking question, will you? Why did a chick stick Jesus? I don't know, Richie. Why do the chicks dig Jesus? Because he's hung like this, and he says he could come again. <laughs> How did that feel? I can't imagine anybody laughing at that joke if I tell it. Yeah. Are you sure we're the only ones here? The teacher's not going to turn around and notice you're hitting the kid back. Why? What do you mean? What? What? Can I tell you about that? How do you know about that? I'm telling you. Did that change my dentist in Catholic school? I'm telling you. I got screwed over by Murphy's nest. Hey, stop laughing. I'm serious. Ah, hey, listen. I'm telling you, Murphy's Law threw me under the bus. I think the teacher's <laughs> name was Mr. Murphy. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that your phone? <laughs> yeah. Everything good? Hey, honey. Are you whispering? Oh, uh, just some nosy body, busy body neighbors who like to eavesdrop. Hi, Annie. Why so paranoid? Wasn't it the CEO of Intel back in the day who said only the paranoid survive? Oh, you gonna answer it? Not right now. Why not? Because that would be rude. Ah, oh, jeez. You know, I'm gonna place you in a slow class for asshole buddiness. Who could it be? I don't know. You fucking liar. To be business colleagues? I don't know. Why don't you just check and tell me what I'm late? I can't do that. Why not? Well, that would be a lie. No, it wouldn't, because you are, in fact, gold. I'm kicking your ass out of here right now. Well, I'm just calling to let you know that I'm going to be a bit late. Well, well I'm a busy lady, and, and if you'd like to again. reschedule... Well, it depends on how important the spa is to you. No, no, it's very important. I, I just don't want to be an inconvenience to you. Is this some avoidance behavior or are you just procrastinating? Maybe a little bit of both. I mean, neither. Uh, I just don't want you to think of anyone as, uh, I don't know, an affront, a distraction. What about the chicken and rice aroni? Oh, fuck that. I told you I keep the chicken in the freezer. Don't you get it? The least you can do is get your ass out of here since it looks like I'm going to be risking my life between my wife and a veggie friend just to protect your so-called food budget. You see? I guessed right about that. Oh. What's the matter? Who else is coming over? The Three Stooges? <laughs> Maybe just two of them. Look. All your life, people pass you up because you can't relax around them. Remember the time the congressman cut the business meeting short with you? Because he ordered a steak and you had a fruit salad? That's not the reason. Oh, no? Okay. 
Well, how about the other time with the female client that you turned from a Dr. Jekyll into a Ms. Hyde when she offered you a drink and you settled for a ginger ale? She wanted to sleep with you, dude. Exactly, bad on the eyes. That would have been a great account for you. You're going to that party. Oh, um, you know, maybe everything will work out okay anyway. Uh, let me not stall you. I mean, delay you anymore. I'd rather not. You know what? If I don't get that promotion, I'll just keep my expenses down. What's there to cut? Aren't you helping your parents with their medical expenses? Yeah. Well, what's your current game plan for that? I don't know. I, I could always borrow against my pension and sell my condo. Okay, that's not a plan. Besides, I wouldn't want your poor parents and then I'm having you as a roommate picking up your bad habits. Hey, who picked up whose habits? How do you think I picked up mine? And, and don't forget, we all become our parents in the end. In fact, I'm even picking up some of your habits. I yelled at the cashier about Johnny O. What? Cashier? Uh, never mind. Look, I'm telling you, it's Murphy's Law. You ever see that movie? That Italian film? The Bicycle Thief? Post-World War II realism. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. And the protagonist gets caught at the end after he runs off with the bike uh, after somebody stole That's him. right. Screwed over by Murphy's Law. Uh, look, you got to get over this stuff, okay? Just focus, will you? Actually, good idea. No, 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 ideas. Yeah, no, no, yeah. what, what, no. You should practice telling the Nazi knockback joke. What? What am I, some kind of an asshole? Yeah, but not an asshole, buddy. Isn't your father-in-law German descent? I think I hear him in the next room. <sighs> You know, even though he's your relative, I get along with him better than you do. Oh, I'm not surprised, Mr. Formal. Let's make a deal. Let's look through all the rooms just to make you happy. Come on, Speedy. Today. Uh-huh. Happy Sherlock? We're going to the bed. But just come on. Enough. Right. What's he ever done to me? Huh? And I don't know why you give your wife such a hard time on the German stuff. Even though I shouldn't give a shit since she's trying to screw me over on the chicken and rice aroni. First of all, my father-in-law makes fun of my being Sicilian in front of my face and in front of his friends. He does. Second of all, I tell the Nazi knock-knock joke in front of his face. Wow, that's great delivery. Even your father-in-law doesn't get offended. Third of all, he's not here. How do you know that? You should... Fourth of all, my wife's not here either. Trust me. Hey, Dad. Hey, why does Mom have you call me the same time every day, no matter where you are? Uh, yes, yes. Structure. Structure. It's not exactly a subtle joke. It's not even funny. Uh, yeah. Come on, it's good therapy for you. Look, since Jesus thought I was a Jew, even he wanted you to bust some Nazi chops. What kind of Socratic logic is that? Look, I'm gonna let you go. You know Matt. He's bound to drop something. Yes. He's not as organized as we are. <laughs> okay, I love you. It's about time they start paying you what you're worth. Will you stop already? No, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep nagging you until you tell that joke. Now do it. All right, already. Knock, knock. Who's there? I ask the questions. <laughs> there you go. I can't imagine anybody laughing at that joke either. Oh. You can I'm ready to put you on a Tonight Show! Honey, is everything okay in there? Oh shit. Uh, yes, dear? 
She was there. She probably just came home through the back door. She might have heard me. Let's keep up with this thing now. You see? You see what I mean? What are you doing? I'm trying to make sure I eat the chicken pretty thoroughly. Oh, I'm Mr. Cox self confident. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. Honey? Sounds like the coast is clear. Are you trying to drive a wedge between me and your wife? What? Ah, ah. Are you plotting? So your family dislikes me? Oh, let's stop seeing that uncouth Richie guy with his poor joke delivery, seeking aid and comfort in our home. That carnivore may make it easy for my wife to find the chicken. Are you crazy? I'm trying to save the chicken. Where am I supposed to put it if you don't need a victim? You know something? If you act like this at the party, maybe you can pass as an asshole. Give me a break with this asshole buddy stuff, all right? That's just a cover, an excuse, an alibi, all right? You're trying to undermine me, and you're making your wife the bad cop and her vegan princess friend the fall guy. Sure, sure. Make sure that you throw them both under the bus and that the bus hits me. Oh, no. I'm trying to get your ass out of here for your own good. I'm not even supposed to let me commingle with anything in this house, frozen in Siberia or otherwise. Well, oh, chicken ain't me, it's poultry. <sighs> Look, let's just forget about it, okay? I was just trying to help. If you want to lose promotion and eventually find the work, that's your business. Oh. oh, look at me. I'm Matt Morelli, the holy hosanna of humor. I bring you good news. I bring you good tidings of great jokes. I forge the path to great delivery, and I fire them your way to avoid getting fired. Get out of here. Who's delivering what? Did you bring something to eat? Who's getting fired? I am a pound. Yeah, tell him. Tell me what? Uh, nothing, honey. Uh, nothing, honey? Did you just say nothing, honey? What is that, like a joke? Like the breakfast cereal? Oh, is that what Richie brought? Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> funny, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for your hospitality and for underestimating my own hospitality. Yeah, that's right. Uh, tell about the chicken. Chicken? What chicken? Uh, actually, Richie brought nut honey cereal, <laughs> but we ate it all. <laughs> I, I know it's gonna, probably going to hurt our appetite, but we have a narcotic addiction to it. I got to tell you, it actually does make a pretty good palate cleanser. <laughs> We incinerate the box to hide the evidence, but leave it to Richie to give us away. Uh, I don't even like nothing, honey. Honey? That's right. I said chicken. Get yeah, Tell her how I triple check. But all of a sudden, there's no commingling. Get yeah, Why don't you use that, that gangster impersonation to mock this whole thing? Chicken. Sounds like nothing, honey causes cravings for chicken. I don't and I won't because you are fed up with my impersonations. You call them commonplace. Well, they are commonplace. Chicken! What's this about a chicken? Uh, Richie was just leaving, dear. Uh, no, 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 no. You, you live near the Verrazano Bridge, right? Why don't you use that corny godfather impersonation about the whole thing, huh? Why don't you tell her, I'm going to toss the chicken into the river so it sleeps with the fishes. Go ahead. What about a chicken? And that's not funny. Well, it's not. See, I told you I don't have good delivery. Although, you don't think it's funny because your friend's a vegetarian. What? No, 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 you two chose Ms. Veggie Granola Fruits and Nuts over me. You are such a meathead. Wait. Oh, just another reason to go vegetarian. Wait, what did you call me? She's just trying to be an asshole, buddy. A what? And you know, you got two hours left on that party. You're lucky if people mill around and go to an after party later for drinks. Just come on. No, 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 no. She's not trying to be an asshole, buddy. She just called me a meathead, and not for bonding purposes, huh? Is that what your way of defending vegetarians, huh? I don't know why you bother to hide behind your friend. You don't have to use her as a cover to undermine me. Believe me, I am fully aware of that. Why bother using anyone as a cover when I can take great pleasure in telling you directly? And undermine the bromance. The what? I hate that fucking word. Oh, I get it. Your friend's a vegetarian. And I brought a chicken, and now you want me and the chicken to sleep with the fishes. First of all, regardless of whether my friend persuaded me to not eat meat or I chose to do so myself, I wouldn't want a poor chicken to get tossed over the bridge to sleep with the fishes. It's part of my philosophy of the humane treatment towards free-range chickens before they're sent to market for consumption. Humane? Free-range? What? It's a whatever! 
sure. What is he talking about brought a chicken? Well, does poultry count as meat, dear? <laughs> hey, there goes your phone again. Yeah. What abs? What abs? Holy. Hey, wait, wait. So you're not denying you want me to sleep with the fishes? Well, not exactly. Just take the call and tell me you had no room. No, no, no. Not exactly. Not exactly what? So, you're denying you want the chicken to sleep with the fishes, but you're not exactly denying you want me to sleep with the fishes? Is this what happens when you bring a chicken to a vegetable fight? So, a chicken to a fish? That's funny, honey. Oh, I'm so glad you think it's funny, honey. But what is he talking about, brought a chicken? Uh, would she pick up the phone? It's driving me crazy. No, no way. Uh, are you calling me a chicken in that analogy? Uh, and you want me to sleep with the fishes too, right? Actually, I'd rather you sleep with the boss. Take the call, will you? Get out of here. Let me, let me get a nice office up there around here. Do it for the family. My boss is a man. Well, then I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Excuse me? I was referring to him, dear. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't sleep with my boss even if we were both gay. All right, and don't call me by my pronoun when I'm in the room, all right? That's rude, all right? I'm not invisible. You say I was referring to Richie, dear. It's every little thing with this guy. Just to be clear, I wouldn't sleep with my boss, gay or straight, even if I were gay or straight. And I am straight. Happily married man, perfectly capable of being an asshole buddy and asking people to be an asshole buddy without having to sleep with anyone. But wouldn't an asshole buddy have to, you know? You see that? You, you see that? Huh? No, no, no! That's not what that is! Were you two separated at birth? Your thought patterns are joined at the hip. Hey, no. don't lump me in with your buddy over here. And gee, thanks for having such an explicit commitment to our relationship. And go ahead, sleep with the fishes. I'm sure the chicken wouldn't mind going with you, especially since it's been brutalized by one of those inhumane farms. In fact, I'm sure it would probably rather fly the coop and sleep with the fishes than get the Purdue treatment. Fly the coop. That's fine. Oh. Miss Santori's line. Yeah, yes, the phone call oh, phone. forwarded to me. Yeah, uh, I help organize all the, many of the big parties for Mr. Santori and the many charities he cares about. Charities? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a big, fun, caring guy to have Richie. Fun, silly guy with a whole... There's your proof. There's your chicken. I'm shocked. Shocked that, that, that there's a chicken going on in here. <laughs> Let's move over to the bus. You know, maybe if you did a better job satisfying your husband, you wouldn't be so unhappy and, and maybe you wouldn't be so uptight towards me. What? What is he talking about? Uh, Richie? You're lucky if I am uptight towards you. Otherwise, I would chew you up and spit you out because you are a meathead and I'm going vegetarian. And what, what's with the chicken in that freezer? Get this chicken out of here. Susan's going to be here any minute. Uh, honey, you know what? You wouldn't spit me out because I taste too good. Uh, Richie? Uh, you know, you know the types. You're so proud of your blonde hair and your blue eyes. And then you marry the dark side. And if that's not enough, you take a bite out of the dark or swallow your best friend. Huh? Uh, did you masticate well? Uh, you notice I said masticate, because she said chew, right? Because masticate means chew. You get it? I said masticate, not the word that sounds like masticate. You yeah, get yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, all right, masticate, chew, I get it. Don't you mean because Annie said chew? You said she said chew. Oh, 
people don't call me by my pronouns or I'm in the same room. That's rude. I'm not invisible, you hypocrite. No, 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 wait, 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 will you? All right, stop, just focus, okay? Wait a second, what does he mean by satisfied but a spoiler your best friend? What? Hey, why am I asking that? You see, just by being in your presence, I'm becoming more like you. Paranoia and all. Now go to the party. And for the record, the clock is ticking on the so-called best friend status. You? You bring him here. We give him sanctuary from all his neuroses. And how does he make it up to us? Besides eating us out of house and home, he makes it up by bringing a factory abused chicken and two measly boxes of rice a -roni. Oh yeah, yeah. I will go for you. Yeah, come on, what are you gonna yeah. do? Come on, what are you gonna do, huh? I said let's break it up. Oh, if she throws me out of my house, I'm throwing you out of yours. If going to pick up your neurotic habits, perish the thought. Oh, a perish the thought, huh? Yeah. Well, that thought perished before or after you contemplate friends with benefits. What? Friends with benefits? What? Okay, your lesson's an asshole by delivery. Over today. The class oh, dismissed. Okay. When's the next class? When's the next class? Oh, when's the next class? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you when the next class is. When you learn to respect the people that are trying to help you. You know what? I'm kicking you out of here and I'm handing a green cab back to Manhattan. If our veggie friend shows up, you might start in on her too. Oh yeah? Well, fuck you! You're an asshole. And your friend's probably a bigger asshole. Is something burning? <sighs> oh, great. A perfectly good box of rice and roni peel off ruined. Hello, Ma, Susan. Just in time. On the count of three, you can help roll the bus off that I got pushed under. Who is that guy? Is he your asshole buddy? Who, me? He sounds like your asshole buddy. You seem to make a good asshole buddy. I do? What? I like that. You do? Annie, you need to be more like your friend here, and maybe I can find more people to invest in your spa. Oh, me? Like him. Yes, like him. I'm sorry, I didn't need to call you by your pronoun. Oh, uh, that's okay. I, I slip up sometimes myself. You know, but I own up to it. Uh, it's, I'm not a hypocrite. Look, Annie, you're too uptight. You're treating everybody like you're meeting them for the first time after how many encounters later? Uh, who does that? Sound like. But don't equate me with him. Uh, with whom? Uh, and you can't be talking about your friend. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Oh, uh, Richie. You can't be talking about your friend Richie here. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Should I start talking about Murphy's Law too? <laughs> what, what do you know about that? Uh, uh, never mind, don't ask. Okay. Do any of you know who William Dawes is? Should I know who he is? Of course not. Nobody does. That's the whole point. Paul Revere's out schmoozing, making friends, having drinks, flirting with the ladies, building his network, finding out who's who, getting the word out on anything. Now Dawes... Wait, wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Uh, Dawes was the exact opposite, right? He was too uptight. He couldn't loosen up. He couldn't socialize. Uh, he didn't have a network. Well, you seem to be very understanding about Dawes. Well, it seems like the guy kept to himself stayed local maybe spent too much time schmoozing uh mutton and rice aroni off of other people rice aroni oh i get it i love rice aroni did you bring it a point on the ledger for richie i don't know why you're picking on poor richie here yeah. dawes was the roger dangerfield of the american revolution even though that he was more courageous than Paul Revere and even managed to escape. You know, it's, it's ridiculous that they would treat Dawes with that kind of disrespect. I don't respect at all. Huh. And on top of all that, what if Rodney Dangerfield is your favorite comedian? Another point on the ledger for Richie. Another feather in his cap. <laughs> Why? Because nobody can personify Rodney Dangerfield as well as Richie can? Feather in his cap? American Revolution? No, actually, that makes perfect sense. He is Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle brought from Brooklyn chicken, not a pony. Earned a feather in his cap, but burned the rice a roni. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious, honey. Mm -hmm. Now hush for a second, okay? Did you just say hush? Did, did you say hush? You didn't even say hush, honey. 
I think you're on the other box of Rice Aroni. You hush too, Mr. Bromance Aroni. <sighs> okay. Dawes may have been smarter than Revere, and maybe more self deprecating in a room by himself, but that didn't get him anywhere with other people. Am I right? I bet Paul was so good with the ladies that when he came in to warn that the British were coming, the wives would be telling their husbands, get your ass out of bed, and they'd be getting their husbands out of bed, and then they'd be getting in their faces like, didn't you hear Paul? He said that the British were coming, and he don't mean that they're sitting around jerking off waiting for their happy ending. Don't you see the lanterns on the watchtower? When he said that they're coming both ways, he meant by land and sea, so get your mind out of the gutter. The wives? And all that? Hey, that's perfectly plausible. Wait, so let me get this straight. Besides adding to the list of yet another unacknowledged role of women during the American Revolutionary War, i.e. them getting their husbands' asses out of their beds for the Battle of Lexington and Concord before the midnight ride of Paul Revere, where they heeded their warnings, one of the reasons why we won the war and were able to experiment with democracy was because Paul Revere was everybody's asshole buddy? That's right! Now you get it! Relax! Like, be real. Be more of an asshole buddy. Be more like Paul Revere and your friend Richie here. Hey, you just said five R words. Right? Relax. Real. Revere. And Richie, that's resoundingly remarkable. Uh, somebody shoot me. So, are there any limits to this asshole buddy stuff? I don't want to just give investors anything they want. Asshole buddies aren't entitled to give or get whatever they want. Uh, okay, but can you explain that without going into circular reasoning? Yeah, yeah you know what? That is a very good question. Does he do that circular reasoning thing with you two? You know, that's a very bad out. Oh, jeez. You know, you two are interchangeable. Hey, don't, don't equate us. us. Or what about someone trying to violate you to give you what you want? Uh, like uh, sexual harassment? Or what about Time's Up? Or what about the Me Too movement? Yeah. Well, what about that? Huh? What if they want you to be this kind of asshole buddy and you don't want to be? Huh? And, uh... Oh, you forgot the hashtag. Oh, yeah? How about I hashtag you? You see that? You see that? Easy, Annie. Easy. Serenity now, Annie. Serenity now. Okay, let me answer your question. I had a wise mentor, a judge, Judge Carrero, and she once said to me, Hey, Susan, remember that commercial about driving drunk? Friends Friends on the 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 right. So she had this favorite philosopher, Cicero. I'm just paraphrasing here, but she said, he said, friends don't create unnecessary dilemmas for other friends. Wow, Cicero. Susan, that's great. And since we're on the topic of the Founding Fathers, let's take John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. They weren't exactly asshole buddies. In fact, they were frenemies for a while. But you had Abigail trying to patch things up. She's like, hey, fellas, I'll break it up. You both admire Cicero. Gee, that's cute. Oh, why, thank you, Susan. She said it's cute. She said it's cute. I think I'm on a roll. Is that a direct quote from Abigail Adams or Rudolph? Asshole, buddy? <sighs> nah, yeah. You know, Matt, that sounds perfectly plausible to me. Huh, yeah, you see that? I guess I am on a roll. And, and I hope you realize that your little asshole buddy paradigm had a, a loophole that just got filled. Yeah, no thanks to you. Okay, okay, I'll relax. Be an asshole, buddy. Okay, for starters, I'm gonna eat that fucking chicken because I can't go vegetarian full time and the label says free range. I have a weakness for chicken myself. It's not really meat, it's poultry. You know, I was trying to make that distinction so they wouldn't shoo me away with the chicken. Oh, were you leaving? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe you should go with him. you make a great uh, date. Date? Uh, honey. Uh, I mean, entourage. You could be each other's entourage. He then gets to make a good impression at the party. Party? Uh, I honey. mean, business networking event. 
You elicit his inner asshole buddiness so he can get in good with the bosses and move up in the world. You can be his partner. Partner? Uh, honey. <laughs> I mean, his accountability partner. You make sure that he's an asshole buddy so he can get a raise. And then help his elderly parents to support all those charitable causes he's been contemplating. Maybe be a nice girl. He's single. Oh, uh, Matt! Did you say single? Wait, did you say charitable causes? Did, yeah, yeah. The ones you're going to tell Susan about on the way to the par uh, <laughs> business networking event. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like more resources to help the elderly have a quality of life. Yeah. That's a good one, Richie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and, and if you're going to eat chicken, it should only be free-range chicken. Not like one of those chickens are brutalized at those abusive farms and they get the Purdue treatment and stuff like that. Mm, gee, Richie, where'd you think of that one? Uh, or, or the soup kitchens, right? They should accept any kind of leftovers that are perfectly fresh. All right, even frozen chicken. All right, even if it's been commuting for two hours from the Bronx to Brooklyn. Uh, but, but, but only free-range chicken. That's so sweet. Annie, where have you been hiding this guy? Well, he's been hiding here. Annie. Well, I don't want to flat leave you. No, no, it's okay. Um, and he complains about Murphy's Law. How do you know about that? How long are you standing there? Long enough to hear you laugh at Jesus and diss my dad with that Nazi knock-knock joke. But your dad and I say, huh? in front of our faces, <laughs> he says to see uh. and he complains about Murphy's Law. Oh, and Annie, I'm sold on investing my own $50,000 to the spa. Uh, Sounds good. We can go over the paperwork on Monday. Now get the fuck out of here. Honey. Uh, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I didn't know that you had it in you. Huh. Huh. Mm, let's blow this clamp, please. Uh, chicken bake. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a, a chicken and rice and bake. Hey, get that shit straight and don't fucking rush me. Mm, I like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do. You see, patience comes to those who wait. Oh, wow. Did Yogi Berra say that? Oh, uh, it's a little yogiism I came up with on my own. Mm, Richie. <laughs> oh, excuse me while I take a moment to go throw up. But you would create a monster. Oh, well, I plead the fifth on that one. Plead the fifth? Wait, 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 wait. It's a good idea. Richie, Richie, Richie. Oh, no. Wait, no, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Help me out. Finish my train of thought. The chicken, the chicken sees with the fishes. Now it's become chicken of the sea. Ask any mermaid that happened to see what's the best tuna, chicken of the sea. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, how cute. Richie, such a great delivery. <laughs> you see that, huh? You see that? There you go. Oh, fucking bromance. Hey, what's wrong with that? You see that? Murphy's Law. I told you you have a problem with that romance. I hate that fucking word. Or are you just thinking of that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> May you be blessed for the respect you gave to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oh, well, why thank you, Father. Uh... Father George. Uh, Father George. But I, I have to admit, Sometimes, I just don't get it. Well, consider this. If you don't know where you're going, you might not get there. Oh, wow. Did Jesus say that? And thank you for it. Well, actually, Yogi Berra said that. But I guess that could have been something Jesus said, too. <laughs> <laughs>